In this video, I'll be talking about the new Bitcoin mining ETF that is expected to start trading on Nasdaq tomorrow, February 8. So, if you're looking to gain exposure to the emerging Bitcoin economy, keep watching to get all the details. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I publish new videos. You can also support the Portuguese Investor Channel by joining on Patreon. See link in description. This new ETF is Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF, ticker WGMI. Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF is an actively managed exchange traded fund that will invest at least 80% of its net assets plus borrowings for investment purposes in securities of companies that derive at least 50% of their revenue or profits from Bitcoin mining operations and or from providing specialized ships, hardware and software or other services to companies engaged in Bitcoin mining. If you are an investor concerned about the environment, you will love to know that the Bitcoin miners in the fund's portfolio use about 77% renewable energy versus average renewable energy usage throughout the US of 31%. The top two holdings in this ETF are Argo Blockchain and Bitfarms, weighting 10% each. I like to see Bitfarms here at the top because it's a company I really like and I already talked about it here on my channel and I said it was undervalued. The other Bitcoin mining company I really like too is at 8 Mining, but at 8 is not on the top 10 list of the holdings of the Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF. So let's see what are the other 8. Number 3 and 4 are CleanSpark and Hive, weighting 9% each. Then we have Stronghold Digital Mining with a 8% allocation. The other 5 companies weighting 4% each are BitDigital, Digios Technology, DMG Blockchain Solutions, Marathon Digital and Power and Digital Infras. And last, just let me note that investing in the Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF comes with an expense ratio of 0.75%. Summing it up, I think this ETF can be a good investment vehicle if you want to gain indirect exposure to Bitcoin through Bitcoin mining companies. As always, keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor and you should always do your own research before investing in any stock. Wish you the best and thanks for watching.